Hear this. Some of you here, God is rigid with you. Don't back down. He's preparing your tongue. He's chiseling it. He's shaping your heart. He's shaping it. Because a day will come, you will become the message. And so he will insist. Some of you, he will banish you from certain places. Some of you, he will cut you off from men. He will disconnect you from relationship. Don't cry. I remember those days in the city of Wari in 2012. The Lord told me, remove your battery for you from your phone. My battery was out of my phone for three months. I felt lonely. Sometimes I, I was alone in the room. I cried. If I want to put the battery, the anger of the Lord will literally come down. And he disconnected me from everybody. I didn't know why. He was raising something. And so a time will come in your life, the whole world can leave you. Like John the Baptist, you will enter the wilderness. And from the wilderness, you will cry and Zion will appear. They are messengers God is raising. They are called apostolic missionaries. That's why God sends them to different territories. Because they have become arrows in the hands of a mighty warrior. Most of you that have those destinies, don't escape. Stand your ground. Be able to leave anything. God is shaping you. He will send you to your office and you will become a judge in your office. You will rise up and speak against evil where every other person trembles. Oh king, we will not be careful to answer you in this matter. We will rather perish than to bow to your grieving image. God can't send you. Listen, don't go and seek invitation. Don't lobby invitations. No, God is not sending, he's not opening doors to people. Forget all this garbage of open doors. Those are born out of self-preservation and flesh. God is sending arrows to different territories. When he raises you based on the kind of training he has given to you, he will send you to your own city. The same way Jonah was selected and sent to Nineveh. There are some of you that the training God gave to you equipped you to judge immorality and iniquity. For some of you, you are equipped to judge corruption in government. And so instead of lobbying for open door, wait for your time. Because when the time comes, he will send you to the territory that is sensitive to your training. And then when you rise, you will shine bright like the stars of heaven. God is raising men. As the darkness is upon the field, something is happening under the darkness. Go and study Joel chapter 2 verse 1. When the darkness lifts, you will now discover the devil was not the only one walking. An army will rise. And some of them are apostolic missionaries carrying the burden of the kingdom into different territory and they are willing to die for it because this kind of thing we talk about today is not something you live for it's actually something you die for because the kingdom rides on the blood of the martyrs 